Welcome back to the number one entertainment show, and we're here to start up your week to exciting, exciting times ahead. And um, it's time for Truth Syndrome Monday, ladies and gentlemen. We all had wishes and plans while growing up on what it is we wanted to be, either a doctor, engineer, lawyer, and what have you. Today, we want to find out if we're indeed on the course on the planned career path. That is why we're asking, are you currently doing what you hoped to be as a child, career-wise? Uh, first of all, let me just put this disclaimer out there. Nigerian parents, don't feel attacked or offended. <laughs> <laughs> hey, because I feel like a lot of people weren't even the ones that chose what they wanted to do. They were just from small start tell you, ah, you know, you're always talking, you'll be a lawyer. Did I tell you I want to go and be fighting this high court? No. Um, so for me, um, the very first job I ever wanted to do was customer care. <laughs> was customer care. Um, so, I mean, in, in school, when we would sneak phones, yeah, I was one of them, we'd sneak phones into school, and then I would always pretend like I was working then. It was now radio. So I would just pretend like I was working like a radio station. And then now people come and meet me and say, come and call my boyfriend. Let me see if he's cheating. So I now say, oh, hi, my name is from this radio station. Your girlfriend called in. She says she loves you. She's, you are, and she's listening in. Do you want to give her a shout out? The guy too will now give shout out. The next thing you know, it's bah. Funny. Oh, yeah, call the guest name. Baba is that name. So, uh, yeah, I, I used to enjoy that. So I always said, because I was very shy, I said I would do radio after that. Um, so the first job that I now actually got was now... My friend had a TV station thing, and then I went to do interview, and from there, that just went. Now, what did I now study in school? Mass communication. Although, they tried to drag me to Covenant University to go and do law. I said, I'm not going to wear white. I'm not going to do all of that. Like, they would just <laughs> expel me last, last. So, studied mass communication, and here I am. <laughs> you and you It's and a win-win for mm. me. Yeah. <laughs> so, twins, Oh, uh, What did I want to become? I think I, I, I really I knew what I wanted to do. Um, I just wanted to become um, an entertainer, you know, in every sense of it. You know, like... Apart from when you were a kid? Yeah, I started young. I started pretty young. Before then, maybe between the ages of one to, like, six, it was doctor, doctor, doctor. I was shouting up and down. But I remember when I saw my own blood, I changed my <laughs> mind. <laughs> I changed my mind, so I've always wanted to be um, an entertainer, like a complete entertainer. So for movies, music, everything, I wanted to be an embodiment of that. So I think I'm on course. And what did you study? So <laughs> hey. I did computer science. Wow. So there was a thing that was always happening, right? Because you have a brain for science, right? And I was always first, 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 second, first. So my parents, in fact, my people, I followed my people. Because my friends were entering science class, I said, you know what, since yeah, everybody's in this science class, all the cool guys were in science class, so I follow science class. Wow. You know, that's what happened to us. So, okay. I mean, I remember back then, they always tell you, people in art class, commercial okay. class, they I'm don't serious. have anything yeah, in their head. Dollars. It's science class, look at it now. They are making more money mm -hmm. than us. That's fine. So for me, hmm. My whole career path from when I was small has been like a you used game. to dance in party that year. Yes. Okay. Maybe that so has been a game of <laughs> snake and ladder. So when I was younger, I wanted to be a doctor or a lawyer, saving lives in the hospital or in the courtroom. You because all follow, mom, see. no, so my mom, my mom is a nurse. My dad's a pharmacist, so medical family, and oh. then my grandfather was a lawyer. So I used to see all of them I'm like, hmm, if I cannot save life in the hospital, I will save life in the court of law. Wow. But then I became very good in the arts. I was I'm good at drawing guys. in school. <laughs> and uh, my SS1, I started as a science student because I was like, nah, I'm going to be a science student. Then my, my teachers are like, well, you're doing well, but second term, they just transformed me to art class, even though I did better than some food that I even stayed. So uh, that was just how my journey began. And I was like, okay, since I'm in art class, let me just look at law. But along the line, I, I learned more about mass communication, entertainment, and then I fell in love with entertainment. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it was now a, a race between law and mass communications yep. and international relations too. Wow. So I had like three things. And then at the end of the day, I ended up studying mass communication. While I was in school, I started a radio gig I even used to take some of my classmates and everything. And then from radio, I transitioned to TV. And here I am today. Wow, wow, wow. Yep. All right, we hope that you guys' stories will be as happy as our own. Because <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Anyway, yes. that's our truth. After this break, we would also love to hear from you watching as the phone lines will be open. We'll also be checking out your Facebook and Twitter messages. We are TVC Connect using the popular hashtag eSplash on TVC. So let's give you a different touch as we caught up with some of your favorite celebrities to see what they had to say. Here's what they had to say, guys. TSM, Truth Syndrome Monday. <laughs> I mean, when I was a child, no, I wanted to be a reverend sister. <laughs> I know, right? So, but um, when I knew that I wanted to be an actor, I was already in 200 level, studying nursing in University of Calabar. So, yes. I've always told myself that I'm completely a behind the camera person. I never thought of going in front of the camera one day, and I'm not. I don't think I'll be able to do that. But when I'm behind the camera. I'm in my own world. What I'm currently doing, one of the things I wanted to do, honestly, I wanted to be a math scientist. I used to create stuff and, you know, but I mean, real life setting, I had to pay the light bill. So, but yeah, I'm doing part of the things I love. I've always been a fan of the silver screen, and I'm currently at the silver screen, trying to create my own silver screen. So, yeah, let's see how it goes. I don't think I remember, but as a teenager, even all of that keeps changing. Yeah, because at the point I wanted to be a teacher, at the point I wanted to work, I've worked in different places. So, but now I'm a grill boss, so I really don't know. It just keeps changing, and I feel like it's still going to change. So, yeah, I mean, it's life. I just go with the flow. I really don't know. No. Ooh, I wanted to be a reverend sister. I wanted, I absolutely was sure that I was going to live in a, in a nunnery. I was going to be a nun, wearing the nice habit. I was so inspired by that habit. I wanted to wear it. So I look forward to that. And then at some point, I wanted to be a pilot. And then I wanted to be an engineer. And then I wanted to be a medical doctor. I wanted to be all kinds of things. But here I am being the best thing in the world, an actor, showing people who they are. Man, I'm not going to lie, I'm not too. I wanted to become a pediatrician. That's a, a, a children's doctor. But I've played a pediatrician before on TV, so maybe I'm not that far. I always wanted to be great. Look at me now. I actually what I wanted to be as a child. I wanted to be a model, a superstar, and I am, so period. <laughs> um, no, no. As a child, I thought I was going to be a doctor. But now, I'm an actress, and I love it. I wanted to be a lawyer. Yeah, but I think jump cut off mark, sadly. Such a sad thing. And then I switched to mass communication. That didn't work out. And I studied business administration. And I was doing theater by the side. And right now I'm acting. So it's been a journey of discovery. What I wanted to be when I grew up was a banker. Yes, I, I was always impressed by the, the shoulder part suits and the bigness of it. But I realized I was just a suit, that's not the life. So yes, that's what I wanted to be when I grew up. I wanted to be an actor. Well, put it this way, I fell in love with the stage when I was five. But as a Nigerian girl, I was telling myself I wanted to be a lawyer because I didn't think my, my parents would accept it. But hey, I ended up being, you know, by the time I got to 17 years old, I knew I was deceiving myself. And I went to theater school, and here I am. So I am what I always wanted to be. Okay, so what I wanted to be when I was growing up, I wanted to be a mechanic, mechanic. But here we are, I'm an actor now. <laughs> So actually, I wanted to be a mechanical engineer, but that didn't work out. So I, I went from mechanic to mechanical engineer to actor. <laughs> I wanted to be a doctor. Alas, I'm making film. <laughs> what I wanted to be when I was a child, of course not. No, but that time we don't know say acting with a fee pay person. I wanted to be a doctor because that time it's either like you're a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer. You get one way you mean. What do you mean that time? Doctor, engineer, lawyer. Because of those three, if you don't do those three, you no be, you no make up for life, you know. But right now, it's acting in Spain. We're more exposed. Um, people are coming to the fullness of who they really should be and ought to be. So yeah, grateful to God for path discovery. TSM Truth Syndrome Monday. All right, I 
I'm I'm practically enjoying this true syndrome one day today. Is. Like it's just so crazy hearing what people wanted to be and, and what they're doing now. And, and that is why we are asking what we are asking. Are you currently doing what you hope to do as a child career? wise and then is the nun for me from nun to nurse to ask See, it's actually it's actually funny that the entertainers are the ones saying i wanted to be a doctor eh. i wanted to be a lawyer there's only there's only mama Evina that said i've always been what i wanted to be the rest they went like I this i fell in love with the I mean, Tony, how do you go where <laughs> do you go <laughs> all right so on facebook we have ogun soya tosi in pelumi he said hi guys j paul is the suit for me <laughs> hmm. No, because I thought I would be a businesswoman, but here I am doing hairdresser. Wow. Why are you doing hairdresser? Now? I see business you now. You are a businesswoman. Get woman. that. Uh -uh. <laughs> You're doing amazing. Just my add the uh, air products to the side and be selling you understand? Small something. All right, we have Utibe here saying, I wanted to be an actor, but here I am still a student. But uh, when you finish school now, you can now enter. And he said, and Paul, since you said you always carry first, how about you post your results? Uh, uh, I'll go post that. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Um, I didn't Larry, get pictures. Eh. Larry, <laughs> hey, did they give me scholarship? Oh, no, I don't know. I know book guy. Eh. Uh, wow. <laughs> Larry Abayomi said no because I wanted to be an actor. So here I am studying mass communication. Well, I feel like you are um, you're still on track. So yep. that's not a bad thing. Of course. And then we now have Jerry Renewal saying, good, good afternoon, gang. I wanted to be a medical doctor. But after writing physics and chemistry in Neko and Wayek, all hope was lost. Fortunately or unfortunately for me, I was computer lab prefect and today I'm studying computer science. This life, eh? This life, no, I am going, no, no. I say. It's still on path. All right, who wants to go next? Yeah, so uh, you have some on Twitter, yeah? Oh, yeah, so I have some on Twitter. Um, Flan Sung Chow says, yes, I'm doing what I said I was going to do from childhood. I'm blessed and flourishing in Jesus' name. Amen. You do not, not tell us what you're doing. Not tell us. Kali Paka says, good day, gang. As for me, I'm not currently doing what I hope to be as a child because I wanted to work in an insurance company, but now it's sole proprietor proprietorship. Lady Catherine, I like it when you are invited sometimes in Wake Up Nigeria show. You are doing well. Okay. Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, we have Peace on the line from Plato State. Hi, Peace. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, your voice is so cute. Oh. <laughs> Good afternoon. All right, you know our TSM question for today. Are you currently doing what you wanted to do as a child? You know, I wanted to become a lawyer. Okay. Ah, more boys like a young cut off point. She tell me to study history. History? Yes. And it's really. All right, so uh, did you enjoy studying the history? Because sometimes hmm. some people, they switch it for them, but yeah. then they end up liking what like they're doing. Uh, oh, we lost that one. Thank you so much, Peace. Yep. With a peaceful voice. <laughs> from, from, she wanted to do law, right? Yeah. Then she went to history. history. It's not bad. They're still bad. kind of seem like you learn history of yeah. history. You now come outside and do that thing. Uh, all right, so we have more messages on Twitter. Small Storm says, a lot of things have changed and are still changing. Every day is like a surprise pack bearing bearing things that I blend of the desired and dreaded. Huh. Oh, that give us motivational quotes. Okay, Lucky Enoch says, I had so many ambitions growing up as a child. I wanted to be a mechanic, then a doctor, a lawyer, and finally a pilot. But now, like this, na teacher in the making, eh, I'll be. Wow. <laughs> Keep the show moving, guys. I love you all. Do you know what I was waiting to hear? But now I'm a baller. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we oh. have a caller on the line, Ise Olua from Lagos. How are you? Ise Olua. Ife Olua. Love, love, love. how are you? I'm fine. Great. So, what did you want to become before and what are you doing now? Yes? What did you want to become as a child and what are you doing now? I wanted to become a lawyer. Uh-uh. You like arguing, Abby? <laughs> Hey, so what hey. are you doing now? <laughs> ah, work. Hello. I'm studying um, mechanical engineering. Mm. Well, that's not bad. Mm. Not bad. That's You're gonna be bad. a baller. Mm. Yeah. Actually, that's actually not bad. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Well, thank right. you so much, thank Ife. Thank you for calling. Thank you, Ife. Hmm. I still have more messages. Yeah. Okay. Um, Balogun Nurudin says, right now I'm supposed to be in the theater doing surgery. So what happened? 
Billy says wanted to be a doctor. Now at the reason Boya make I drop out. <laughs> darling, wow. just darling, just finish. You just have it to yeah. have it. Okay. Put it to the bag. Yes. Ayola says no, but I'm still fighting since I finished secondary school 2020. I keep on getting courses I don't want. I finished at 15 though. Yeah. Still have a little time on my side to fight. It was nice saying this. Aww. And we asked the question, are you currently doing what you hope to be as a child career-wise? We've gotten a whole lot of calls. We're still expecting more calls and we're reading messages. And right now I'm on Facebook and Omar Dolapo says, hmm, good afternoon to the East Splash gang. Hmm, no, I've always thought that I was going to become a doctor, but now I'm a teacher. <laughs> it's the mm, mm, mm for me, all the plenty mm. mm. Deshina says, good afternoon, gang. Always looking good. Well, not really since I was young. I was really good at drawing. I wanted to be an artist, but my parents didn't support me. And now I'm a fashion designer, but I'm still going to learn artistry. There's still time. Well, you're, still you're doing almost the same thing. Yes, yeah, a long fashion line. designers draw the sketch, mm -hmm. illustration. So, yeah. And I mean, fashion designing is, art, is, a, is an art form. So Yeah. And my dear, now now they make money, I've been now they bill us to so plot. Where do uh Aria Goretta says, I wanted to be many things. I remembered once while I was at the age of 10, I was aspiring to be an astronaut, but as God will have it, it's four years since I finished secondary school with no admission. Nanami nanani, I be they do now. Wow. Okay, don't worry, God will do it. And uh, we have a caller, Emmanuel from Ogun State. Hi, Emmanuel. Hello, Emmanuel. Hi. Emmanuel, Jinjan now. Hello. Hello. How are Hi. you? <laughs> Good afternoon. Good. Okay, so is it what you wanted to be as... Oh, we lost oh, Emmanuel. Lost Emmanuel, call. be sure to call us back. Yes, please do. I'm still on Facebook and Palma Olamide says, No, I'm not doing what I hoped to be when I was a child, but he's still not telling us what he was supposed to do. Otakoya Olajumoke Young J says, no, because I wanted to be a newscaster, but here I am teaching. Fatsin Abelal says, no, I wanted to be a footballer, trust African parents. As then wipe me called now mass communication. I read last last. I for help Chelsea. Wow, wow. shots fired. <laughs> All right, still on Facebook, we have Amaka Udu said, no, when I was little, I was like, mommy, I want to be a nurse. My mom was like, it's good. As time flies, see me, see business administration students, and also a fashion designer. You're even doing two jobs. Exactly. And, that, and that's really big. Um, we have Timmy Gold saying, good afternoon, East Splash Gang. When I was a child, I wanted to be a Navy officer. But now I'm still in the streets finding job opportunity. Wow. What happened to the naval dream? I know, right? I'm sure that will still work out eventually. Ooh. All right, we have Abbas Ede yeah. from Suruleri on the line. Hi, Abbas Ede. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Abosi. Oh, you're the reason I'm calling this house. Oh. Although I didn't have you here, or you'll be small. Yeah, reason is because you look like one of my ex-boyfriends. Oh, Allah. Yeah. Problem, problem. Don't be angry with me. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I'm for any podcast. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so sorry. This is what I'm saying this afternoon. Let me just set up all and encourage you all. Jala, thank I really you. like it. Thank, thank you. 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 And uh, my um uh, kilo shell is gone gone. I really can't. <laughs> I, I, never, I, I can never do without talking about you. You are dear. Wow. <laughs> right, thank you so much, Abbas Ede. I energy, love your energy. energy. So you've now answered our question, no? Are you currently doing what you hope to be as a child? Now, you've been hailing everybody. Be I wanted to be many things. I wanted to be a uh, teacher. At okay. this point, I still have interest on that till now, but oh, you. But we move. <laughs> I wanted to be a fashionist, but I end up being a an air stylist. So oh, we well. got, in my salon, in my salon, it has been an acting place. You no, know, any time any customer comes in, they'll feel good like they are in a studio. Oh. You no, know? we are oh. together. That's so it's something I enjoy. 
So oh, that's good. That's good. Thank so you. So you have said a quick one. I need to do pick and drop this night. Are you available? <laughs> One million bridge. One million bridge for you and drop. Which one can you do for me? I'm said it. Thank you for calling. At Thank least you so much. You're making people look good and you're putting smiles on their faces. Thank you. Said it. I love the. I was saying she considered being a comedian. I love yes, the for the record. I love you. Yes. Thank oh, my you word. So thank you. Thank you. Yes. So many ah, amazing phone calls today. And like you guys, don't feel bad that if you're not doing what it is you wanted mm -hmm. to do. I mean, sometimes, see, like I said, left to me, it's customer care I was going to do. But here I am. I don't even know how I found myself here, honestly. <laughs> so don't feel bad if you're not doing what it is that you wanted to do. I mean, there is still time. Sometimes the life pushes you to be doing what you should be sure, doing, yes. <laughs> not what you think you should be of doing. Course. So just whatever you're doing. Do it well. You never know when you get recognized for that. You never know when you start to love it. Preach it, sister. Tell them. Thank you very much. As an ex, supposed to be lawyer. Let me just be keeping my fighting <laughs> abilities inside. Okay. Thank you guys for contributing <laughs> to the show today. It was an amazing show, and that's all we can take today.